truth. Okay, I know you guys have been waiting for me to uh, do this video. I really don't want to do this video because I lost my voice screaming at all the amazing shit at the conference. Uh, so, what really made me lose my voice, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy XV, uh, the fact that uh, Elder Scrolls Online is coming to the PS4. The PS4 is 399 United States dollars. Um, the fact that they destroyed the DRM argument, all the speculations that Sony was going to do the same exact DRM strategy. Sony destroyed everything. Nobody can bring that up, say if, ands, or buts about it. You know the truth now. Uh, also, the fact that they had a lot of great titles, and they still have a lot of stuff. They announced that they will have, in total, by the end of next year, uh, over 150 or 140 titles, and 40 of them, 40 of them are uh, exclusive, and it's a, it's a good it's a good number. So they uh, there was a lot of stuff they didn't show at the conference, but they they're basically waiting for the show floor to open up, and a lot of people can have hands on with the interface and all of that stuff. You know, videos will be coming out later on. Uh, remember the same strategy they used with PlayStation All Stars, where they took PlayStation All Stars to every convention every gaming convention that year until it released i'm pretty sure sony's gonna do that with the ps4 honestly to be honest uh the ps4 just took over the xbox one and uh amazon.com pre-orders and that was quick wasn't it um the ps3 i mean the ps4 is a uh, hundred dollars cheaper than the xbox one which and the xbox one is five hundred dollars let's just be uh let's be frank with that um <clears throat> i love a lot of stuff you know i loved a lot of stuff i love the design the design goes back to the ps2 days it's old school uh and you know what this represents this represents them coming back they got a lot of developer support and it seems that they didn't have to pay off a, a single person they let in those indie developers thrive by not forcing them to pay um any fees you know they can uh self-publish all their titles they did a great thing yesterday for the gamers and uh you heard those cheers you heard those woos and all of that that was real motherfuckers in the crowd you know that wasn't no uh, robotic 360 faggots in the crowd so um <clears throat> 360 fans once again i used to go by the name of pyro 2000 x i'm pretty sure you guys know me you know what i stood for you know what i still stand for you know what i did to you guys this time, I, I don't got to try that hard to prove myself. Microsoft shot themselves in the foot. They shot themselves in the ass. And they shot themselves in the head. All in the, all within a month span. From the reveal of the Xbox One to their E3 pre-conference. So, you know, you can't blame nobody but Microsoft. So, people, I, I hear a lot of people saying they're, they're going for for the ps4 let me let me help you guys out with that um you know all those names you guys called uh sony drones playstation fanboys playstation fags all these names you know i don't really like the idea of you guys jumping ship dick riding sony now because they have the cheaper console or some shit that you want um just remember that i remember you guys uh so hey do whatever you want with your money but don't act like you've been supporting Sony this whole gen. Don't do that shit. Don't do it. Um, I want some feedback. I want lots of feedback. And then I'm going to get together uh, probably a, later, a little bit later this day, uh, today before I go out to work. And uh, tomorrow I will be doing a PlayStation Home video because it's, uh, PlayStation Home is getting updated today at 3 and I have to leave around 3. So I might as well not do a video. Uh, but when I get home... And, and I'm talking about tomorrow early in the morning when I wake back up. Uh, I wanna, I'm gonna be on PlayStation Home. That's gonna be Wednesday, June 12th, 2013, where you're gonna be seeing me on the E3 show floor in PlayStation Home. So if you wanna meet up with me, just go there. You don't have to add me. Just go there. You'll see me on uh, some of the servers, and uh, I'm gonna be making some commentaries and stuff like that. I love the conference. I love the conference, and I hope you like these, uh, these pictures that I made. I'm pretty sure I'm the first motherfucker that made these pictures because I made those controller comparisons you guys saw. Um, <clears throat> so I just want everybody to see both of the systems right then and there, see the price. You know, this is a simple video. I don't really have to do a lot. 
You guys know what happened. Anybody that doesn't know what happened, you'll find out all I gotta fucking say, man. I'm so glad Sony stood behind Square Enix and make sure they did what they had to do to please the gamer. To me, Square Enix, they got the biggest cheer. Besides the fact of no DRM and the price point. Other than that, Square Enix, I think they took a big uh, prize because, you know, they showed people that, you know, they're willing to work again. And yes, I did say they're willing to work again because many of their titles were shit. It's like they didn't, they weren't even putting their passion back into it. You know, with that Final Fantasy 15 with Kingdom Hearts, you know, running an in game on the PS4. Um, just love that shit. I love that. I love seeing gameplay. I didn't want to see cinematic teasers. You know, Sony did more gameplay than any cinematic cutscene teasers compared to Microsoft's press conference. <clears throat> They also showed, you know, I understand that they showed a lot of um, support to developers that weren't owned by them. And uh, that, that shows that they, they're willing to work with people. They have easier architecture to work with. They got to put that message out there. But like I said, no shape or form, no way, shape or form do I believe that's all Sony has to offer. They gave a big number for titles. 40, uh, 40 exclusives by the end of next year. Uh, 100 other developed games by a different um, parties whether it be second party or third or the indie developers so you know we're gonna have a lot of games to play and that price point makes it even sweeter I mean four hundred dollars it doesn't get better than that okay I'm gonna uh, cut this video off I don't want to rant too much so uh, in the comment section uh, tell me how you feel once again <coughs> This is JTech TV. I just lost my voice last night by screaming so much because the conference was like that. I was kind of pissed at my um uh, at the Ustream shit. I heard a lot of people had problems with Ustream, but uh, we know how Microsoft uh, paid MTV and Spike to show only their conference and not cover Sony's conference. So if you wonder why Sony's conference wasn't on TV this year, it's because that transpired and the fact that Esquire acquired G4. Because uh, when I go switch the um, G4 now, it says G4-E. So G4 doesn't show any gaming shit anymore. They're, they're gone. Okay. So if you want to catch any of that stuff, you can go to official blog, PlayStation website, of course, game trailer, stuff like that. Uh, everybody's going to have news about this. Nobody can forget what happened. And nobody will forget. No matter how much money Microsoft starts to throw at people again. I don't think people will go forget what happened. And uh, a lot of these third-party developers that opted for uh, that little cash bonus Microsoft gave out, you know, they're going to lose a lot of sales because seeing that the PS4 is cheaper, more people will buy it. I see people on N4G that, that weeks ago hated Sony. Now they about to go buy it over the Xbox One, you know, so... These third-party developers, I see them doing the same thing they did this gen. It'll be exclusive for the Xbox One for a little bit. It'll come over to the PS4 later. That's what we call timed exclusives. And uh, I, I don't want to say Microsoft invented it, but these guys are known for doing stuff like that. Okay, I'm really done this time. Leave your feedback in the comment section below. Uh, if you have some friends that have doubts and they need to be educated, you can direct them to my channel. Um, and please, if you want to, please rate this video. I want to see how good I did in covering this without uh, me having my normal voice. <laughs> I'm trying, I need to get it back because I don't sound right without it. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs>